Hi, I'm Dr. David McNamara. I'm a structural geologist and I work as a lecturer at the National University of Ireland, Galway. And I'm Dr. Aki Giorgio Pulu. I'm a sedimentologist slash marine geologist and I work at uh, University College Dublin. And we are here on IODP Expedition 372 and we thought we would give you a tour of the drilling ship while we're here. Join this resolution at your feet. Let's go. <laughs> well, I'm going to show you our cabins first. Come along. Christmas decorations. <laughs> Come on in. So cabins are shared with, between two people. Upper bank, lower bank. I'm in the lower bank. <laughs> Pretty standard. Yeah. Um, desk. We never sit there because if somebody's on shift, they're outside and the other person can rest and sleep. So we never really work at our desk. Just cupboards for our clothes, bathroom shed with two other people, the cabin next door, and that's pretty much it. Much it. It's quite spacious actually, we're loving it. Mine is much smaller. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not sharing with him. <laughs> Let's go. So this is the geochemistry lab. Um, this is where we put the sediment to squeeze the water out so we can sample it. There's a little hole here, we put the syringe there draw the water out. It's a very, very slow process. You have to very slowly squeeze it so you can get all the poor water out. Lots of other instruments around. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna explain everything, but as you can see, it's a perfectly functional lab like you would have in any university or in any institute. Um, and we do a lot of things on board. Um, we take a lot of samples home with us as well, but we try to do a lot of analysis while we're still on the ship and the sediment is still fresh and um, it hasn't altered or lost its water. So uh, these are all the logos from past expeditions. Ours is going to go on soon, soon as well. We just haven't worked it out yet. It's almost like a competition, so different people have to submit their sketches and uh, I suspect that there will be a voting at the end and ours will be the best. <laughs> So because we're going to be at sea for nearly two months, um, we kind of miss a lot of our pets. So the crew and the scientists on board have decided to make a bit of a pet wall uh, to sort of remind ourselves about what we'll eventually go back home to. And this is my little guy here, this is Murphy, and I can't wait to see him in a few weeks' time. So we are preparing, we're on site now. There's no port here yet, but when the port comes up, this is the first place that it gets to. So you see this rack. This is about 10 meters long, each core is 9.5 meters long, and we'll cut it here in one and a half meter segment so that we can handle them more easily. I will also be scanning the core with an infrared camera because we are looking for gas hydrates as well. And they should show up as cold spots whenever we image the core. So when the core comes in from the catwalk, we put it into this machine here, where it is lasered and tagged um, so that we know exactly what the core is and where it came from and what depth we found it at. Then we take the core from here and we move down to these track machines. These machines will record various physical properties of the core as they move through um, the various sensors. So we'll measure things like magnetic susceptibility, bulk density, uh, things like sonic velocity as well. And then on the other side, if you can see here is where we'll measure the natural gamma radiation of the core as well because that gives us interesting information about the type of rock we're looking at. And then one of the final measurements we'll be making before the core goes on to its sampling uh, area is uh, thermal conductivity, which we'll measure with this machine here. And then the core is taken into the splitting room, which is next door. It will be put here, and then we literally split it into two halves. The one is labelled working half, the other is labelled archive half. We're allowed to take samples out of the working half, we do not touch the archive half, that's the one that's kept for posterity. So we take the working half onto the sampling table, which is here, and a group of people following a very um, clear recipe that is on the wall will take samples out of the working half. The archive half is coming through here, it will be photographed in very high definition. The 
We'll put it here for more measurements, more physical property measurements. And then once this is done, we put it on these tables. And then the segmentologists start their code descriptions. So we're about to go out to the back end of the uh, scientist's half of the ship and look at the drill pipe being put together as it's lowered down through the sea towards the seafloor before we begin drilling. But before we can go out there, we have to wear hard hats and safety glasses, as is marked on the door. So now we're out on the rig floor, and you can see behind us they're arranging the pipes that are going to be sent down. They build these pipes up in sections as they lower the drill bit with all the tools that are going to make measurements in the borehole while we're drilling. So they lower these down progressively until we hit the sea floor, then they start everything spinning, then the drill will move down through the rock layers and we're going to capture images and lots of other physical measurements of the rock around it. And it's not a particularly bad place to be working because you can see we're surrounded by the beautiful Pacific Ocean as well. I have a question. Who's this? <laughs> We, we would, would like, like to thank the Geological, Geological Survey of Ireland, Ireland for making this possible for us. And I'd like to thank my colleagues at the School of Earth Sciences at UCD for all the accommodations they had to make to facilitate my being here. And I would like to thank Earth and Ocean Sciences in the School of Natural Sciences at the National University of Ireland, Galway, for all their support in my research.